Oh no, buddy, sorry. Looks like I pressed the wrong button. So bye-bye. See you at the start. Hello, my friend. Do you mind if I take control? That's great. Well, let's add a little speed to our cart. Good luck, buddy. I hope you make it to the finish. Oh, I think he lost control a little. Hello, please give us a ride to the finish line. It seems to me that this was not the most reliable driver. I think we need to write something to him in the chat so that this guy doesn't interfere with our journey further. Yes, I think these are exactly the very words that he needed to write. Um, seriously. Well, it was a very easy victory over some news. Wait, to find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. <laughs> There's a puking Pomni here today. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will ride the cart again. This is some kind of fancy trolley ride. Our characters are not here. What will be our final goal? In this game, we have to come straight into the mouth of this huge catnap. Oh, I think this route is much longer than all the previous ones. Uh, we have never played anything similar. Oh, just look! Part of the railway is missing here. Wait, are we about to fall down? I hope not. Let's see! Um... Seriously? Are we simply moving along invisible rails? Well, okay, this is something new and we have never seen anything like this before. In fact, I was already afraid that we would now find ourselves down again and we would have to go through it all again. I think it will take us a lot of time to get to the very top. I think we better not try to change the speed of this cart in any way, because otherwise we might fly down. Wow, we've come a long way already. But there is an even longer road ahead of us. There are a huge number of climbs and various turns. The most important thing is not to change the speed of the cart in any way, so that we don't end up at the bottom. There are even descents in this location. This is very strange, because in all the previous games we played, this did not happen. Look, we're stuck. I think now we need to move back a little, and after that I think we will be able to overcome the obstacle due to which we cannot drive forward. Thank God we were able to move forward because I thought we were stuck here for a long time after we had come a very long way. I hope that we will no longer have such stops, and we will be able to reach the end of this race. Oh my God, this rise seems endless to me, and the worst thing is that there are several of these climbs in this game. Well, we'll have to watch this because the main thing is that our speed of movement does not change. Otherwise, we will find ourselves at the bottom and we will have to go through it all again. Look! There's a guy standing up there. He doesn't move at all. I hope he won't stop us from moving on. Let's stop slightly so that we don't crash into him and he doesn't prevent us from getting to the end. Oh no! Our cart doesn't stop. Well, the main thing is not to go forward because of this. We can go off the rails. I think we need to write something to him in the chat so that this guy doesn't interfere with our journey further. I don't want our passage of this map to end here. Yes, I think these are exactly the very words that he needed to write so that he would stop disturbing us. Looks like this guy is moving back a little. Maybe he will really stop stopping us from playing that game. Well, I think we can move forward a little. Oh no, it looks like he has deceived us after all and is going to go in our direction. But he went off the rails and therefore he will not be able to resist us. Look, he starts to take off. Great, he gives up. We can continue. Looks like he lost control slightly. Um, seriously. Well, it was a very easy victory over some noob. And now we begin our ascent along another spiral. These climbs are too long. I think we can grow old while we climb them and there will be two more of these on our way. Oh my God, we've actually been going through this for 20 minutes. It's good that our editor cut it all up and you see this long journey cut as compactly as possible. Sometimes it really starts to seem to me that we've been driving for an eternity. And the most important thing is that we don't even know what awaits us at the very end of this race. I really hope that the reward he receives will be worth it. It would be cool if we got some boosts with which we can prevent other players from completing this game. I really hope that this is exactly what we get. Otherwise, I don't know why we are going through this game at all. We are already as close as possible, and I really want to increase the speed. But I understand that this cannot be done. Because of this, we could fall down. The main thing is to maintain our previous pace and move forward with it. Your words remind me very much of the words of one of my friends. He also loves high speed very much. Guys, now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen. Pause this video and write in the comments, who is this? I hope you wrote the correct answer. And now we actually find out who it is. And so the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one. And yes, guys, you were right again. It 
it's me. Knowing you, I definitely wouldn't be able to say that you're a big fan of high speed, but each of us has our own hidden hobbies. For example, how do I collect plush elephants? Or how does King collect figurines of anime figures? Guys, we've almost arrived at Catnepa's mouth. We only have one more turn to go and we will be there. I'm already impatient because I really want to know what awaits us at the very end. All we have to do is drive along the straight road forward and we will find ourselves at the finish line. Jax, don't be afraid and increase your speed. We definitely won't fall down here. I'm sure there are no hidden obstacles here. And here is the finish. Great, we're inside. Wait, what? Is this a house in the middle of the forest? Seriously? I hope we see something interesting there. Here we can change our skin. Let's choose the Bubba Booba font skin. But no, I think he's not the most handsome. Better we choose the catnap skin. I think this skin is the best of them all. Let's explore this territory some more and see what's there. Great, we found boosts. There is a train, an acceleration spring, and a super jump spring. Cool, I think we should still go into the house and see what is in it. Unfortunately, there is nothing interesting here. There is a room with sleeping places for all smiley critters in which you can turn the lights on and off and you can sleep. Well, I think we should start stopping other players from completing this game. And here is our first victim! Let's get into his cart and increase the speed as much as possible so that he will fly off this track. I think this guy will be very angry. Oh no, buddy, sorry. Looks like I pressed the wrong button, so bye-bye. See you at the start. I think this guy is really, really upset about this because he's come a really long way. Well, let's find a few more victims and help them fall down. And here is our next goal. Well, I think we need to stand on one of these rails for them to crash into us and fall down. Hello, my friend. Do you mind if I take control? That's great. Oh, I think you're driving too slow. Let's add a little speed. We will definitely become faster. What do you think about this? I don't think he minds. Well, let's add a little speed to our cart. Great. This is a completely different matter. Now we will reach the finish line in a matter of seconds. Good luck, buddy. I hope you make it to the finish. Oh. I think he lost control a little. Well, here comes our next new friend. Hello, please give us a ride to the finish line. It seems to me that this was not the most reliable driver. We definitely need to find someone who is a great driver, and I think this guy is perfect for us. I think they all drive too slow. We need to add some speed. Great, now this speed suits us. Well, sorry, buddy, but you're going to spawn again. Here comes Dagged. <laughs> Oh, just look at this funny face of Pomni. She always makes weird faces. We've dealt with one of his hands. Only a few shots left. Great, we killed him. Oh no, he caught hey, us. Hello oh. everyone, friends. And today we will escape from prison, Dage Dago. Seriously, and this giant pot-bellied nugget in a cowboy hat is called Daga Dago. I think this is the strangest name for a nugget. Didn't it bother you at all that this is actually a real nugget who is alive and wears a cowboy hat? It looks pretty stupid, but I was told that there are a lot of interesting obstacles in this map. Let's take a look at them. It seems to me that I already see the first of them. Um, it seems to me that you are slightly from a different game. It was very strange to see a female cop from a women's prison here, but it's good that she didn't stop us from jumping onto the first platform. Let's now meet the first real boss. Here comes Dagadago. I hope they didn't add a lot of speed to him and he won't be able to catch up with us now. Everything here looks very funny and all the walls are yellow. It feels like we're in a package of cheese sauce. I think nuggets and cheese sauce are the best combination in the world. By the way, we got to the second floor and escaped from Dagadago. Now let's run through these pipes and get some ventilation. I'm very interested to see what new things have been added to the toilet room. I really hope that there won't be any associations with cheese sauce because it seems to me that toilet and cheese sauce are the worst combination in the world. Fortunately, the walls here are white, just like in a regular toilet. Just look, it's us. But it seems to me that someone is missing here. Guys, pause this video and carefully look at the characters that are here and write in the comments which character from our amazing digital circus is missing among them. I hope you answered correctly. And the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one, and yes, you were right. It's Kane. To be honest, I would be very upset if I were him because they even put Barry in there, but they forgot about our friend Kane. And I think that this is a very fair price for the fact that in every game where you had to escape from the amazing digital circus, Kane was always the most important cool boss. I think he has enough fame already. By the way, we now find ourselves in a huge dungeon made in the style of the sea. 
Guys, is it just me or have you completely forgotten about me? Actually, that toilet was also missing me. They didn't even add me here. Although I seem to be very close to the marine theme. Buddy, don't worry about it because I think that every bubble in this game is you. Even here where huge waterfalls fall, there are a lot of bubbles below. I believe that all the bubbles are a model of you. Yes, I think these were the most correct words so that the bubble would stop being offended. By the way, this design of the corridor with a large rolling boulder is very unique. I've never seen anything like this. And what will we see now? Oh, this room with the boss knight is also nautical themed. There's even a treasure chest. The main thing, oh no, he caught us. By the way, did you notice that he had a knife in his shoulder? Yes, and I left this knife in it because he decided not to add me to this game. I still think this is very unfair. And even though Zubel says I've already gotten too much attention in other games, I still think I was worthy of a mention here. Okay guys, stop arguing about this. The main thing is that we were able to escape from this Mr. Dagadago. By the way, they even added a Pomni here that peeks out from the wall. This is very nice. Even Jax is here. Looks like he's trying to escape from those bars. But I still think it's really unfair that they didn't add Kane to the installation. By the way, it is even here, but Kane's still nowhere to be found. It looks like the creators of this map really love Pomni. They even added it here. But it seems to me that Kane shouldn't worry because we haven't even completed half of the game yet. And he can appear anywhere. There on the right side, there is again a huge installation of our circus. Let's see, maybe Kane will be there, but no. This time he wasn't there either. Well, let's keep running this energy drink race. I hope we finally find something similar to Kane in this map. We managed to pass this level with ease. Great. Now let's climb up these stairs and see what awaits us ahead. Now we have a test ahead of us in which we need to put the stairs under the ventilation. Let's quickly open this room, take this ladder and put it in place. I saw a few more of our characters in this location. Let's take a look at them. Here are Pomni, me, Ragatha and Kingler. Great! Oh, just look! Behind these bars are the sharks that ate Barry! He deserves it! E, I'm actually still a little confused. Why didn't the author add me anywhere? Even in this ventilation, there is absolutely everything, and even Barry. But I'm not on it. I don't understand why he doesn't love me so much. Don't worry, buddy. I hope that sooner or later we will see you here anyway. In the meantime, let's jump through these pipes and go up to start testing with valves. In general, don't you think it's strange that our characters are in this prison? Because this is a Dage Dago prison. I don't understand at all why the creators of this map did everything in a marine style. How can a chicken nugget and the sea be connected? Maybe in fact, it's not a chicken nugget, but a fish nugget. And that's why everything here is done in this style. But I think this is a pretty stupid theory. It seems to me that you are already really starting to talk about some kind of nonsense. Well, Jax turned all the valves, and now we will run through this ventilation straight to the next ventilation. I really hope that we will pass this map as soon as possible and still meet Kane here. Now what about me, guys? I remind you that I am also nowhere here. Yes, of course there are bubbles in this game, but they don't have the same eyes as mine and cool sharp teeth. Wow! We reach the fan race, and here, in addition to our characters, there are also sharks. Oh my god! It looks very cool. They blocked our path, which is why the passage of this location became even more hardcore. I really liked what we saw. Here and now, let's climb these stairs and take a jump in the wind tunnel. But here again are characters, but there is no bubble or cane. It seems to me that the creators of this map really need to work on adding them here. By the way, here is the cafeteria location, but there is no boss Daga Dago here. Here instead of him is the usual boss cook. Well, let's kill as soon as possible. Well, here comes the bazooka. Let's take it and shoot this boss chef. Jax, the main thing is not to forget that hitting the head does the most damage. This is the best way to kill him as soon as possible. Only a few shots left. Great, we killed him. By the way, I think they only left the boss chef here because this boss chef actually prepared this nugget that became the evil boss, Daga Dago. Wow, there are a lot of our characters here and not two of us are among them. Only two challenges left. To be honest, it seems to me less and less that Kane can appear in this game because the creator of this map disliked him for something. So let's just finally go through the location and meet the final boss.
I'm very interested in what it will look like. And here is the last test before meeting the final boss. Jax, I hope you remember our life hack. It seems to me that it makes much more sense to use just one board. This life hack was suggested to us by our subscribers in the comments. You don't have to take all the boards from above, but just take just one and drag it behind you. And here comes the final boss of Cyber Dage Dago. He has very strange legs. It seems to me that other robots look slightly different. He waves his name so funny. It's probably because he's a nugget and he's not used to using his legs at all. We've dealt with one of his hands. All that's left is to shoot the second one for it to explode. Jax, don't stop. Keep shooting and most importantly, try not to let him shoot you. We finally defeated him. In fact, this boss was quite difficult because he was running after us. Oh, just look at this funny face of Pomni. She always makes weird faces. We completed this game in 518 seconds. It was quite easy, but unfortunately, we didn't see either me or the bubble in this game. I didn't really like this game because of this. So let's move on to the next game. Look, his head is shaped like an Easter egg. Oh, it's Boss Betty. She's wearing a very fun Easter bunny costume. Only a couple of shots left. This Robo Betty really dies very quickly. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will play Escape from Easter Betty. Hello, everyone, friends. I finally got to play with Jax, and today I will try to overtake him. A lot of time has already passed, and it seems to me that I simply won't have time to catch up with Jax in any of these games. Yes. It seems to me that Jax has already become a real professional in playing these games, but I think you shouldn't compete. Just try to complete this game together. In this game, you still need to look for Easter eggs. We've only found one so far. Let's try to find all ten, and maybe we'll get some kind of bonus for this. Okay, we have extended the platforms, and now let's go through them for ventilation. I remember that we already played this game. Last time it took us quite a long time, but it was not Easter. And last time, Jax played this game alone. Let's try to go through it faster this time than we did last time. Well, now we will meet Betty and we will need to run away from her. Let's quickly run and press that button. This Betty is pretty fast, but I think we can deceive her. Well, here's the button. Now we need to run past her and run through that door. Great, guys. Good job. Great, we managed to do it. Now let's build a tower from these cubes on which we will climb up and climb over this fence. By the way, I'm doesn't waste any time. I'm already a little ahead of Kane. Kane, did you give me a head start? Bro, you probably forgot that we don't compete. We just go through this game together. I'm not trying to overtake you. I just play this game no matter how long it takes. You already at the top. Come on, guys. Jump into this ventilation and run forward. I don't remember what test awaits us ahead. I'm very interested to see this. Here is the exit from the ventilation. It looks like there's a warehouse ahead of us. Yes, this is it. Well, jump on these cabinets and run to the next location. There you will need to jump on all sorts of pipes. Well, let's jump through these pipes to the very top. There we will need to jump over lasers. This is a pretty tough task. Yes, I remember this task. We already completed it last time. Well, I hope it won't take us much time. We just need to jump over those lasers and get to that button to open the door. In fact, this is not as difficult a task as you say it is. You just need to jump over those lasers, press the button, and run through the door. I don't think it will take us much time. Hurry up, Jax. You're already far ahead of Kaney. Maybe you can outrun him even further? Now we need to run down these stairs, with the help of which we will go down and go through the door that just opened. Oh, here we need to jump over this puddle, and then we will find ourselves in a room with another boss. This is the boss cleaner you need to shoot at. Look, his head is shaped like an Easter egg. He looks very funny. He moves very quickly. How did we so quickly kill he? Well, that was a pretty easy boss. Let's go to the next room. Oh, it's Boss Betty. She's wearing a very fun Easter bunny costume. She doesn't look as scary in it as she looked before. Well, I remember this level too. Here we need to go through the ventilation, run through the pipe, and escape from it. This task is quite easy because Betty moves very slowly. It's very good that Betty doesn't know how to jump into the ventilation because it would be very difficult to escape from her through this thin pipe. This task is quite easy because here you have to run from Betty for very little time. The main thing was not to fall down. And now we will run through this ventilation and find ourselves in the next room. Let's break down this grate and find ourselves in the next room. Wow! It's a huge obby with platforms. I remember this task. This is a very big obby. 
It's much more difficult than Barry's prison break. Well, I think that we will be able to cope with it on the first try, because we often practice passing such games. Don't worry, bro. We will definitely be able to pass this obby on the first try. Jax played Barry's prison escape every day, and he is already very good at beating games like this. I wouldn't say that this is a very difficult obby because the most difficult obby is the Tower of Hell. Yes, I also remember how I played Tower of Hell. This is the hardest game in Roblox because there are no saves. You need to complete the entire obby on the first try without falling even once. It seems to me that you need to be the most skilled player in Roblox in order to complete the Tower of Hell. But someday we will definitely do it. Well, we passed this obby and now we are heading through the ventilation to the next location. To be honest, I don't remember what test awaits us. Look, this is the task with bridges. There are a lot of bridges here. They put as many as six pieces, but I remember for sure that we don't need all six bridges. It will be enough to use only one plank to get to the end. By the way, yes! You're right, this is a real life hack! I think that with this method we can complete this game much faster! Hurry up guys, you're already reached the very top! Now we will have a race with fans ahead of us, I remember this task! I really like that they added a fan run to this game because this game really lacks speed. Sometimes it seems that you are going through all these tasks very slowly. But with the help of this task we can speed up and go through it all quite quickly. Well, let's now climb up this wind tunnel and see what task awaits us ahead. It's a shame that there are no lasers in this wind tunnel like in Barry's prison escape. Well, we got to the very top, and now let's go through this door and see what awaits us there. Oh, this is the same task as the energy drink run in Barry's prison escape. Only here, instead of energy drinks, there is milk. By the way, Kane, Jax overtook you. Do you see what a trail of fire is following him? This milk speeded him up a lot. It's very cool that here they added visual effects and acceleration in the form of a trail of fire. By the way, we completed this task quite quickly and without errors. Now we are heading to the exit. I wonder what awaits us ahead. Will this really be the final boss fight? Yes, here we need to kill Easter Robo Betty 9000. By the way, just look how quickly her HP runs out. Last time, we weren't able to kill her as quickly as we did this time. Let's shoot at her non-stop to kill her as quickly as possible. Only a couple of shots left! This Robo Betty really dies very quickly! Well, we were able to defeat her! Cool! We completed this task faster than last time. This is definitely accurate. But unfortunately, we were not able to collect all ten eggs. Well, let's go to this car that will take us straight to the finish line. It's a pity that we weren't able to collect all 10 eggs, but someday we'll definitely return to this game and try to find everything. Now let's move on to the next game. You probably didn't know that Google created several secret games and hid them. So, we found these games today and are going to play them with my friends from our amazing digital circus. But first we'll take a walk to my room. Wait, did you really just call my digital circus yours? I don't remember that I transferred the rights to control it to you. Don't be such a bummer, Kane. Let's better play the first game for today, and the first game for today is Pac-Man. Oh, I remember this game very well. I played this game a lot as a child. I remember that in one of the Walmarts near my house, there was a slot machine with this game. Stop fantasizing, Pomni. We don't remember our childhood almost at all, just like we don't remember what Walmart is. At least we were told to do it according to the script. Stop saying this, Kinger. We're not filming our series right now, and in general, we can tell all our secrets here. And yes, we know what Walmart is. While you were discussing all this nonsense, Jax had already completed more than half of the game. Well done, Jax. Keep up the good work. I really hope you can beat this game today. Yes, he really manages to pass it very easily. He ate almost all the ghosts. It's a shame that these ghosts keep spawning here. But I think that this will not stop Jax from completing this game to the end. To be honest, I'm now trying to beat Pac-Man for the first time in a long time, and I've never managed to win this game. But I hope that now I can do it, because at the moment, I am making pretty good progress. Come on, buddy! All you have to do is eat a few of these strange circles, and all the ghosts are far away from you! Cool! You won! That was great! Now let's move on to the next secret Google game. Wait! Is, is this soccer? Cool! I just love soccer! My favorite team is Barcelona, and I love Lionel Messi very much. It seems to me that if I show Speed heard what you were saying now, he would definitely start barking and break some of his devices. By the way, just look at this game. 
Here you need to save penalties, and Jax has already missed two of them. It seems to me that he just didn't understand the controls a little. Oh look, now he started hitting those balls. Well, this was a test attempt, and now we will replay this game again in order to try to hit as many balls as possible. The main difficulty of this game is that sometimes the balls fly to the bottom of the goal and sometimes to the top. And in order to hit them here, you need to either press the jump button or not press it. But you definitely need to point the mouse where the ball is flying. It seems to me that even in the FIFA simulator, the penalty kick mechanics are much easier than this. Well, in any case, Jaxa is doing pretty well. He has already hit 11 goals and missed only one. I think this will definitely become my favorite secret Google game because this gameplay is really quite interesting. The player's reaction and attentiveness are very important here. By the way, I noticed that the speed of the ball is gradually accelerating and the time to aim the cursor becomes a little less. It makes this game more difficult and more hardcore. You've already scored 23 points on your second try and you're not even going to stop. Well, this is very cool. Oh, looks like you just missed one goal by accident. Well, I do notice that they become much faster and you literally have a second to decide whether you need to jump here or not. Everything here is just like real football. In general, I don't like football at all, but it seems to me that it's very strange that in some countries it is called soccer and in some it is called football. Perhaps it's because we have American football. I can't answer this question for you, but I can say that we are now moving on to the next game. And the next game is Tic-Tac-Toe. It's very strange that they decided to add such a simple game to Google's secret games, but nevertheless, this game is very interesting, despite its simplicity. If someone suddenly doesn't know the rules of this game, then we need to fill in the cells with our symbols so that they line up in a row of three symbols. In this case, we play for the cross. Do you really think that among our viewers there is someone who does not know the rules of this game? It seems to me that even small children know them. By the way, here is our first victory. It was very easy. Jax, do you know any secret tactics? Wow, he actually beat him easily. I remember as a child at school, I played tic-tac-toe with my neighbor at my desk and always lost to him. But Jax manages to defeat this artificial intelligence again and again. Didn't you think that this is happening precisely because I am an artificial intelligence like all of us? Well, let's change the difficulty of our opponent to impossible and try to beat him. Well, let's try to defeat him this time. I hope that this level will not be impossible for you. You did pretty well playing against him last time. Wow, this time it's really noticeable how our opponent is trying to beat us. Well, I think that this is indeed a more difficult opponent than the one we played against before. And therefore, let's admit that a draw this time is a really good result. I think we should try to beat him again. Jax is pretty good at this game. I think he can definitely come up with a strategy with which he can easily beat this artificial intelligence. I saw somewhere that playing for crosses is a win-win strategy with which you can win 100% of the time. But it seems to me that this time Jax will not be able to defeat him because he initially placed his symbols incorrectly. Artificial intelligence takes the lead and earns the first point. Well, I think Jax needs to rack his brain a little to try and win it at least once. My friend, let's think more logically and stop placing your crosses randomly. I think with your advice, you are making it very difficult for him to concentrate and that is why he is unable to beat this artificial intelligence. Maybe you should really be quiet for a bit and let him try to win. It seems to me that this will not help him because his little brain is not capable of winning at least one game of a complex bot in tic-tac-toe. Buddy, try to really think logically for once. Let's stop suffering and finally move on to the next secret Google game. It sounded quite offensive, but I think you're right. And now let's play a secret game of basketball with you. Just look. Here you need to throw the ball into this basket. So that you understand how difficult it is to do this, here you need to press the space button in time for this player to throw the ball into the basket. If the interval between your presses on the space bar is too long or too small, you will definitely miss. This guy is so bad that I think if LeBron James saw this, he would cry and cover his eyes with his hands. Well, the first time we only earned four points, but I think for a first try it was pretty good. Although no, it was just terrible. Let's try to cope at least a second time. But unlike football, I really like basketball, and I'm a huge fan of the Lakers team. I remember that when I went to this team's basketball game as a child, I saw a young Kobe Bryant. I will remember this day for the rest of my life. And all my life, I've been dreaming of seeing Shaquille O'Neal. I'm very interested in whether I'll be taller than at least his knee or not. 
I think this guy is very gigantic. By the way, this time we did it a little better. We earned 10 points. I think Jax has trained quite well. Let's try this game one more time and see how many points Jax can earn. I think I like this game more than all the ones we played because I'm also a huge basketball fan. Because of my height as a child, I was sent to the basketball section and I played it for a very long time until I received a head injury. After this injury, I began to get scared of everything and hide in pillows. Now, I understand why you are so, um, strange. Well, this time we earned a little more, namely 14 points, and now let's move on to the next game. This head that is right next to us is really very huge. Ooh, that was pretty dangerous. Just look at this guy. It's a huge running head with arms and legs. This guy reminds me of Mr. Potato Head. Just look at him hanging out here with that Mr. Triple Head. Just imagine how you wake up in the middle of the night and go to the toilet, turn on the light, and see this head in front of you. In fact, I would really like to chat with the creator of this game because as you may have noticed, I just adore all sorts of psychos. Oh, I think this girl was in a lot of pain. Did you really think that I would fall for this idiotic trick? Imp to find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. Jax, you're sick of making jokes like that! Stop doing that! Oh, hello, everyone, friends, and today we will run away from the big head. What? Big head? Seriously? It even sounds strange. We have already played a huge number of modes in Roblox, but escape from the big head is really something unusual. Yes, I was also very surprised when I heard this name, but so far this game is quite interesting to me. Let's see what challenges lie ahead of us. Now, we are in some kind of huge labyrinth and trying not to get caught by these strange big heads. Well, this is quite interesting gameplay. There are a lot of interesting challenges here. Let's climb those red steps and see what lies ahead. Great. I think we just saved, and now we need to run past these three huge heads. Jax copes with this task simply excellent. This head that is right next to us is really very huge. Well, we climbed up those red steps and we saved our progress. It's great. And now let's climb these stairs. Ooh, that was pretty dangerous. It's good that Jax noticed in time that there was a trap. And now we move on to stage number two. The first stage was pretty easy. I managed to pass it the first time. Well, let's now try to maintain the same pace in stage number two. Here, by the way, a huge wooden maze awaits us in which we will also need to escape from large heads. It looks like this stage will be a little more difficult than the previous ones because here we won't be able to jump over these heads from above and all we can do is just run away from them. Great! One more save. We saved our progress again and now let's continue to go through this labyrinth. It seems to me that it would be very difficult to play from a phone. It's good that we play this game using a PC and we can pass all the tests quite easily. It seems to me that if there were no saves here, this game would be impossible to complete on the phone the first time. I don't really like playing games on my phone at all. I find it extremely unusual to use the touch screen to control a character in Roblox. I really like to play on the computer because I played on the computer as a child, and for me it is very easy to control the characters using the keyboard. I completely agree with you. It also seems impossible for me to play games like this with my phone, but it seems to me that our subscribers cope with this perfectly. By the way guys, be sure to write in the comments, what device do you use to play Roblox? I hope you wrote your answer in the comments, and we will definitely read all your comments and find out how many of you play Roblox using your phone and how many of you play Roblox using your PC. I'm wondering if among our subscribers there are people who play Roblox using Xbox or PlayStation. Okay, it's not that important. By the way, we have passed the second stage and now we are in some kind of huge sandy maze. It's cool that the locations here are different at all stages. This is really interesting. Wait, what? Were there two heads? Just look at this guy. It's a huge running head with arms and legs. This guy reminds me of Mr. Potato Head. He really looks like him in some way, but he lacks a mustache. In general, it seems to me that with each stage, our opponents become more and more strange. These heads are constantly transforming. Oh my God, why is this head so fast? Did you see how fast she ran up to us? He even managed to scare me a little. Oh, hello, Mr. Potato Head. Are you here again? This guy really looks very goofy. By the way, he is not alone in this game. There really are a lot of them. Just look at him hanging out here with that Mr. Triple Head. Create this game is really a little crazy, but I mean that in a good way because all these mobs look weird but very cool. 
I really enjoy playing this game because this head is as much goofy as it is creepy. Just imagine how you wake up in the middle of the night and go to the toilet, turn on the light, and see this head in front of you. What will be your next steps? The only thing that comes to my mind is that I would faint or reflexively hit him. It seems to me that there simply cannot be other options for events. I don't even want to try to imagine. This is because as soon as I start doing this, my whole body is covered with goosebumps. I mean, I didn't mean the body. In general, it's difficult to explain, but I think you understand me. It's strange that there are such expressions in your vocabulary, but if I imagined such a situation, it seems to me that I would simply change my comedy mask to a fear mask. This is my honest reaction, but all the unusual incidents that happen around me. By the way, we have already moved to the fourth stage, and here we will again have to travel through some kind of huge brick labyrinth. It's very strange that you weren't surprised by a huge obby with a giant head and several other ordinary heads that were glued together into an incomprehensible figure. In general, this game is quite psychedelic, but nevertheless, it is quite interesting due to the fact that there are a lot of funny challenges and traps. In fact, I would really like to chat with the creator of this game because as you may have noticed, I just adore all sorts of psychos, and it seems to me that this person is a cooler freak than all the participants in our amazing digital circus. It seems to me that you would definitely find a common language with him. <laughs> Oh, another save. Very cool. Now let's go upstairs where this huge glowing green arrow is pointing us. I think I need to go down here. Yes, there was a trap. Well, let's still look where the green arrow is directing us and follow it. She has never deceived us yet, and she always shows us the way. I see the end of this stage. Cool. We easily go through all these stages. So far we've only died once, but I think there's nothing wrong with that because this game is really a little hard at some points. And now, we will need to run away from huge female heads in this giant mirror maze. I am still surprised by how enormous the imagination of the creator of this map is. Just look, there was just a capybara running through there, scattering banana peels all over this maze. Oh, I think this girl was in a lot of pain. Well, I think this game is quite cruel. But nevertheless, it is very funny because it is really very difficult to find a way out of this mirror maze. We constantly run into various dead ends. It's good that there is no ceiling here and we can jump over these heads. Otherwise, it would be impossible to pass this level. Yes, I really like this game too. I really hope that our subscribers like it too and they will write about it in the comments. If this game gets really many views, we will definitely make a sequel to how we play it because this game is really difficult. And we love challenging games. Did you really think that I would fall for this idiotic trick? I took this coin and move on. I immediately realized that this is not the end of this game. Now we need to run across these bridges. By the way, they break all the time. Great! We passed them and now we are saved. Now we need to pass the next test. To do this, we need to run through these strange orange pipes. Let's see what challenges lie ahead of us. Great, another save. Oh, there are moving lasers and heads that come down on us right from above. Ooh, this task is quite difficult, but it's good that we managed to pass it on the first try. And now we are heading through these doors straight to the next game. Oh, the last door was wrong, but this door will send us straight to the next game. Just look at this funny dancing Jax. Hey, what? Did he get angry at us through the bars? Why is this guy running after us just like Naruto? Ragatha, oh my god! It's Pomni, but why does she have such a strange face? I don't think this Pomni really likes being in this game. Oh, is this really me? Hello everyone, friends, and today you and I will escape from my prison in Roblox. Just look at this funny dancing Jax! Hey, what? Did he get angry at us through the bars? It's pretty weird! Well, let's go upstairs and start playing this game! This Jack's prison looks pretty creepy because of the textures the developers used. I don't really like this dirty yellow color. I think this is very similar to Jax's style because he's such a dirty guy. Oh, that sounded pretty weird and cringe. I hope you meant that he is dirty because he constantly throws his socks everywhere and leaves dirty dishes behind him. 
Wow, Kinger, I didn't think that such words were in your vocabulary. Well, I think that's exactly what she meant. It's good that Jax coped with this test so quickly, and now we will see the boss in the form of him. Looks like this boss continues to attack us from the moment we saw him through the bars. It's strange that he immediately ran out here. It would be very creepy if he was waiting for us right under the ventilation outlet. Why is this guy running after us just like Naruto? Okay, okay, it doesn't matter. We got to the very top, and now we'll go to the room with toilets. The main thing is not to fall from these thin pipes. Speaking of pipes, it seems to me that this pipe should not be here. Okay, I won't even try to walk on it. I'll just go to the toilet room and start digging. I hope you haven't forgotten that the tunnel is in the second toilet stall and we don't have to open all the others. Okay, cool. Let's take this shovel and dig right down to the dungeon obby. And now we are here. God, I don't like the design of the location here at all. Why are these platforms so ugly? These textures that look like a chessboard don't suit the style at all. I completely agree with you. I don't like the way everything is designed here at all. Oh, just look. Is everything really black and light green in this tunnel? I'm about to throw up at how ugly this all looks. It seems to me that the design for this level was done by a real idiot. Wait, what? A tunnel with a rolling boulder also with the same textures? Oh my god. To be honest, it seems to me that this guy should no longer be hired as a designer. This acid green corridor gives me very strange feelings. I want to leave him as quickly as possible so as not to see him again. It's good that now we will find ourselves in the room with the boss knight. I really hope that everything will be fine with the design. Ragatha, oh my god, she looks very strange. You need to quickly escape from her into a tower with dilapidated steps. I would really like the creators of the map to finally change the tests with dilapidated steps. It would be really cool if they added something cool here like lasers or other things, because I think this game is getting very monotonous. Every time we play it, I don't see any difference between this and the previous one. It's good that we'll now drink an energy drink and go on a race with an energy drink. I really love this part of Barry's Prison Escape because there is a lot of action in it, and in principle, it is more interesting to play than the rest of the game as a whole. Someday we will definitely donate to Roblox so that we can be given the opportunity to complete the game completely with the help of an energy drink. I would really like to set an absolute record in this game with the help of boosts. It would be very cool if our nickname was on the leaderboard. Yes, I also think that it would be very cool. Now let's go upstairs and take on this ladder challenge. I hope that we can do it the first time because usually after we install the ladder we fall down several times before jumping into this ventilation. This ladder task is one of the most annoying in this game. It seems to me that few people managed to climb into this ventilation the first time. But this time, fortunately, we were very lucky and we managed to do it. Well, that means that we can easily set a record for completing this game today. Let's not waste a second and let's run forward very quickly. Yes, but unfortunately now we are waiting for the second boring building in this game, namely the location in which you need to turn the valve. It seems to me that nothing could be more boring than this task because every time we come here, we know where these valves are and we even chose for ourselves the most optimal route with which we can get through this location as quickly as possible. So I don't see any point in adding it to the game because this task is very simple and boring. We turned all the valves and now the steam will not interfere with our progress in this game. Well, I'm very glad that we completed this boring task and now another interesting task awaits us in which we will need to run in tunnels with fans. This task is really cool because in it, we develop really high speed, which is very similar to the speed that we develop in the race with energy drinks. What a pity that there are only two such interesting tasks in the game. I think someday we should definitely try to make a map like this ourselves. Well, for now, we have to play what we find in Roblox and what you write to us in the comments, dear subscribers. By the way, be sure to write your favorite mode in Roblox in the comments. We will choose the most liked comment and play this game for you. It's Pomni, but why does she have such a strange face? I think she looks a little shell-shocked. Well, let's take a bazooka and deal with it as quickly as possible. I really hope that she will run out of HP just like the previous boss did. I don't think this Pomni really likes being in this game. Well, let's shoot her. 
The main thing is to hit her directly in the head in order to kill her as quickly as possible, and we will move on. Only a few shots left. Don't stop Jax. Keep shooting at her. Cool. We managed to do it, and now let's go down this slide. And then there are only two tests waiting for us before we meet the final boss. I can't stop getting angry at the design of this game. I think this design was created by some crazy guy. How could anyone even think of making three textures and placing them on all surfaces in this game? I think this is the worst regime change in the history of the Barry Prison Break. I completely agree with you. They even kept the same textures in the laser test. Due to the fact that the walls are yellow-red, the red laser begins to merge very strongly with them, which makes this test a little more difficult. Well, of course I would like them to complicate this test, but in a slightly different way. Great. We passed this test, and now we have one last test left before meeting the final boss. Namely, the task with bridges. We must remember to use a life hack that will help us get through this location much faster. Namely, initially we need to reset all the bridges down so as not to constantly run after them to the second floor. Well, let's now install these bridges and walk across them. I really want to see as soon as possible who will be the final boss in this game. But I actually think it will be Kane. It's a pity, and I really want to see myself finally in this game. Don't worry about the bubble. Someday you and I will definitely be added to this game. Wait, what? Did they really not add the final boss from our circus here and just leave the original robot Barry here? I think the developer of this map should stop creating modes in Roblox because these guys are very lazy. He now has one arm missing. That's cool. Let's shoot at the second one. In fact, I think this guy will run out of HP faster than we can shoot this arm off. Just a few shots left and we will defeat him. Great, we did it. Now let's head to this machine and move on to the next game. I didn't like this game at all. Yes, I too can't wait to see what awaits us at the end. I think going ahead is not the best idea for you. Oh no, we fell. What, what's going on here? I would really like to build a similar map in Minecraft, but- Wait, what? Are we stuck? But no, it's just a small lag. My head rolled to the next save, and thanks to this, I no longer have to guess the right path. Hello everyone, friends. Today we will play kart racing again. You wanted to say that I will play and everyone else will watch. I finally got the chance to play this game. I like her very much. Well, let's get in our cart and go forward. I hope that this time we will definitely be able to get to the very top the first time. Yes, this would be very cool because we have never managed to get to the end on the first try. By the way, have you noticed that the cart is a little laggy here? It seems to me that we should not regulate our speed because the speed at which we are traveling is the most optimal so that we do not fall down. Yes, I completely agree with you. It seems to me that at this speed we definitely won't fall anywhere, and at the same moment we are going quite fast. But it seems to me that we are driving slowly because this cart is moving at such a speed as if it were actually standing still. By the way, you were right. This cart does lag a bit. She stops in one place and then continues driving again. Well, I hope that because of this we don't fall down. Well, let's keep driving, and we'll find out how we actually get to the finish line. But I continue to hope that Kane will be able to get to the end without falling even once. I'm really annoyed by the way this cart drives. It always seems to me that she will stop and then suddenly move forward. Now she's generally stopped at super long, but it seems to me that this rise will be very long. Every time we play this game, I remember that Minecraft also has a feature with trolleys. I would really like to build a similar map in Minecraft, but it seems to me that we will be building this map for a very, very long time. Speaking of Minecraft, I recently played Minecraft with one of my friends, and it turned out that this person doesn't know how to play Minecraft at all. He's a complete noob in this game. Guys, now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen, and you write in the comments, who is this? Well, guys, I hope you wrote your answer correctly, and the correct answer will appear on the screen. In three, two, one, and yes, this is Zubal. Yes, I confess. I'm very bad at Minecraft because I played very little of this game as a child, but I really like this game. I would really like to learn how to play from her as professionally as you guys can play it. Guys, if you want us to teach her how to play Minecraft, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. If this video gets 1,000 likes, we will record a video of how we teach Zubal to play Minecraft.
By the way, in the meantime, we have completed that terribly long climb, and we are almost up to the final stage of the cart race. Yes, and we didn't even go off the rails. This is very cool. I'm very glad that we can still beat this game the first time today. Wait. Was it just me, or is there a giant Pomni instead of Kane? Yes, it's her! But the game developers wrote that in this game, our final checkpoint will be my giant mouth. I also really hoped that we would enter my mouth and not Pomni's mouth as we always do. Well, it looks like the developers of this game deceived us. But I think there is nothing wrong with that. This means that we can try to set a world record in completing this map. We managed to complete this entire race today on the first try. The most important thing is not to fall down and keep going. Let's keep going at this speed and not regulate the speed of our cart. I really want us to be able to get to the finish line, and I'm very interested in what awaits us next. I really hope that there is an obby ahead of us, and they will give us a high-speed spring so that we can really speed it up! I think we will find out very soon because we are very close to the finish line. In fact, I really want to speed up our cart, but I understand that if we speed it up, we could fly off the rails straight down. I really don't want this to happen. So I think it's better for us to keep the same speed and slowly get to the finish line. We only have a few turns left, and I think we need to be as concentrated as possible so that we don't fall down. Very often, right near the finish line, it happens that our cart goes off the rails and we begin to fall down. The main thing is that this does not happen now. We can really set a world record. It seems to me that someone has definitely set the fastest record in this game, because you can donate here so that you have boosts at the very beginning with which you can get to the finish line without even getting into the cart. I think this is very unfair. I would really like there to be a separate leaderboard for those who complete this game without donating. Guys, we only have a few turns left and we will arrive at the end. Wait, what? Are we stuck? But no, it's just a small lag. Well, these lags are really quite annoying. It seems to me that the creator of this map needs to work on optimization so that we no longer get stuck in the middle of a race. I can't wait to see what happens when we get into the mouth of this giant Pomni. I really want to go through the obby and see the room with prizes that awaits us at the very end. Yes, I too can't wait to see what awaits us at the end. The last turn awaits us and we will rise straight to the finish. This is a very exciting moment and I would like us to definitely be able to get through it to the end. The main thing is that we definitely won't fall down. And this means that we were able to complete this entire race to the end without a single fall. Wait, what? We are already inside and we need to continue walking? It is very strange. What's happening? I think going ahead is not the best idea for you. Oh no. We fell! What, what's going on here? Oh my god! It seems to me that the creators of this map were very lazy about optimizing this game. They need to try better. But they gave us a speed spring and now we can go through this obby at super high speed. This means that hopes for a big record are not lost yet and we can do it. The main thing is to run through this entire location and not fall even once. I really like the fact that this opportunity has been added to this game, and we can really speed run the passage of this obby. This is very cool. The most important thing is that we don't need to donate Robux to get these boosts. We already have them at the very beginning of the passage. We are already as close to the finish line as possible. We need to climb this spiral rainbow staircase to the top. It's a pity that the speed spring does not speed up our passage of this staircase, and we will have to climb it at normal speed. But we can quickly pass the test that awaits us ahead. Yes, it also seems to me that it would be very cool if this spring accelerated our passage of this spiral staircase. Oh, look. <sighs> this is a task in which we need to choose the right path. My head rolled to the next save, and thanks to this, I no longer have to guess the right path. Well, this is a very cool life hack. And here is the finish. We really managed to beat this game in record time. It seems to me that we have never completed this game so quickly. I really like this game because it gives us boosts at the very end. This is very cool. And the obbies we go through are really very interesting. Now, let's move on to the next game. Oh yeah, just look at how we move. This dance of the kitten savior. Hello, Mr. Kitten. Now you are coming with us. Mrs. Mom, hold another one of your babies. Oh, I think I see him. Wait, did we really just dive straight into the toilet? Oh. Hello, everyone, friends. Today, you and I will run away from a giant dog head. Wow, we have a skin of some kind of cat. What will we need to do in this game? In this game, we need to save seven kittens. 
To do this, we need to look for the keys, open these doors, and most importantly, not get caught by these dogs. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh, that's a huge dog's head. We need to go through this obby in order to save the first kitten. Here some platforms are falling down. Jax, you go through this obby like a real pro. I can already see the end of this obby. Great! We've arrived! Let's save this kitten now. Hello, Mr. Kitten, now you are coming with us. We will take you to your mother. We delivered our first kitten. Oh, the mother of the kittens thanks us and tells us that we have six more kittens left to find. Well, let's move on and find another kitten. Well, let's now explore this labyrinth and find the next door. We need to find the key to one of these doors. Oh, look, it's an orange door. Then it must be an orange key. Okay, we found it. A pack of mad dogs is chasing us. Now we need to deceive them and go through this door. They are quite slow. They can't catch up with us. Great. We're inside. Let's now see what test awaits us ahead. Here you need to choose the right path. I really want to speed run this map in order to get on the leaderboard of this game. Well, so far I seem to be doing pretty well. I complete all tasks very quickly. I'm surprised how quickly you can go through all these buildings. I don't even have time to understand what's happening on the screen. Well, you are very cool at checking all these secret passages. You can go through it very quickly. It seems to me that we are already very close to the kitten. All you have to do is get through this task. Oh look, yes, we went down and now we take another kitten and go with him to his mother. Cool, we delivered the kitten to mom and now we'll go look for the next one. We need to find five more kittens and so far Jax has managed to get through this without a single death. Well, I hope that he will be able to pass it all on the first try. Look, we found a green key and a green door. Now let's go inside and see what awaits us ahead. This is some kind of obby with bones! Here you need to very carefully jump on these bones in order to get to the finish line. Well, I'm sure Jax will be able to do it on the first try. Yes, just look! He masterfully overcame all these bones. We are saving another kitten! Cool! We get through this game very quickly. Mr. Kitten, you are going with us to your mother. Let's enter this portal. Great, third kitten delivered. Well, there are only four kittens left to find in this maze. I think this is an easy task. It seems to me that these dogs do not pose any threat at all because they are absolutely unable to catch up with us. The hardest part here is finding the keys. You also need to remember the doors you've already been through. Well, I see a yellow key. Let's take it and move on to the next challenge. Yes, let's go into this yellow door now and see what awaits us ahead. Here's another obby. Here you need to jump on these stones and not fall into this strange red liquid. Well, I've seen how Jax copes with all the tests before, and so I think that this test will not be difficult for him either. Well, there is a save point here. This is good. Oh my god, I just almost fell right into that dog's mouth. Okay, let's keep jumping on these rocks. Here, after you jump on one of the stones, the next one immediately appears. It's not as difficult as it might seem. We got to the cage with another kitten, and now the fourth kitten is going straight to his mother. Mrs. Mom, hold another one of your babies. Great! The fourth baby is in place. There are only three of them left, and I hope that now we can find the next room. Well, let's still find a key of a different color from a room we've never been to before. Green key? It seems to me that we have already gone through the door with the green lock. Jax, let's focus on finding a different color key. I think he must be somewhere nearby. Oh, look! I thought there was a yellow key there. We definitely need to look for a different color key here. Yes, we have definitely been here before. I think we should hide behind the door with the yellow lock for now in order to run around these dogs. Great, Jax! What now? Let's find another key here. It seems to me that he definitely must be somewhere nearby. Oh, blue castle means let's look for the blue key. And here he is. Great. Let's go through that door. It's a staircase. Let's go upstairs and see what awaits us there. Another labyrinth? Oh, it seems to me that this is an unusual labyrinth. Here, too, you need to choose the right path, as was the case in one of the previous tests. There are fake doors here. This test is much more difficult than the ones that came before. But nevertheless, we completed this task faster than all the others, and we are taking the fifth kitten with us. Great. Now we have delivered him to his mother, and we only have to find two kittens in this maze. Well, let's concentrate as much as possible to find them as soon as possible. It seems to me that there must be another entrance or key somewhere nearby. Oh wait, it seemed to me 
Look, a cage right in the middle of this maze. We urgently grab this kitten and run back to his mother. The main thing is that none of these dogs catch up with us now while we are trying to take this kitten from the maze to his mother. Great, I see a way out. Let's take the sixth kitten and we will only have to find one kitten to complete this game. Just one kitten? Yes, this is the easiest task. I think we will now very quickly find a place where we will find the last kitten. Let's find the last task. Oh, I think I see him. Wait, did we really just dive straight into the toilet? Okay, let's try to complete this task by swimming through these sewer pools. I hope they don't keep this kitten underwater. They don't know how to swim and are very afraid of water. Well, we should hurry up so that they don't do anything bad, so kitten... Jax is a little confused in the controls, but I think we will still have time to save this kitten. Look, there is an undercurrent that cannot be touched. Otherwise, it can push it straight into the mouths of these dogs. Jax goes through everything quite skillfully, as if he was going through this game not for the first time. And now we won't have to run away from these dogs. I think I see a way out. Great. This is the cage with the last kitten. Let's pick him up and take the last kitten to his mother. And here is the last kitten. We collected all seven kittens and brought them to their mother. Look. Now the mother kitten has teleported us to some cool beach where all the kittens we saved are happy and dancing. Well, I think we need to stand among them and dance. Well, let's choose the best place and dance among them. Oh yeah, just look at how we move. This dance of the kitten savior. I really like this game because it has a lot of interesting challenges that I haven't seen in other games. I am very glad that we were able to save everyone they want. Now, let's move on to the next game.